Today I'm going to talk about one of the most important cars of the early 2000s. V8, rear wheel drive, 400 horsepower, six speed manual. The E39 BMW M5. Now the E39 M5 has a huge enthusiast following and I happen to be one of the people who really appreciates it. So I'm thrilled today to be reviewing this clean one owner example with less than 100,000 miles. The E39 M5 is one of the most gorgeous sedans ever built. The lines are perfect and you won't find a bad angle on this car. The styling is restrained, well proportioned, perfectly drawn and handsome. Basically, it's everything you'd want your German super sedan to look like. Best of all, it's so subtle. The new M5 has those huge wheels and those side skirts and those weird looking orange brake calipers. It just screams, look at me, you bastard. This thing is stealthy, it's smooth, it's subdued. In fact, I bet that I could replace the badge with an entirely different type of badge and nobody would ever know the difference. Now that I'm driving my 525i badged M5, I'm going to demonstrate this car's stealthy performance capabilities with a little stoplight drag race. He thinks I have a 525i. Okay, so that wasn't the most scientific test, but this car does really perform well, and part of the reason is it's fairly lightweight. To demonstrate that, I have a little comparison here. Now, this M5 weighs 3,900 pounds, whereas the new M5 weighs in at approximately 10 million pounds. Now, the difference between the two cars is 9,996,000 pounds. It's good for acceleration. It's also good for handling. In fact, this car handles like a dream. Steering is perfectly weighted, it's heavy and communicative, unlike all this light crap that modern BMWs are saddled with. It's perfect. Who cares? My favorite thing about this car is actually the build quality. Everything is exactly like you'd expect it to be from the Germans, with the serious, somber quality of a nation that is just coming back from a funeral. Take, for example, the turn signal stock. It doesn't have any play at all until you turn it on and then click, click. You also get the feeling when you shut these substantial rear doors that the outside world will never bother you again. And the trunk is heavy, it's solid. It weighs about the same as my entire Nissan Cube, and it would probably do better in a crash. There is, however, a problem with the M5. The problem is that, like any German car of its age, this M5 is absolutely falling apart. I have here a list of its problems. There is the leaking cylinder head gasket cover that's putting oil into the motor. There is the radiator hose that's cracked, the leaking differential that needs to be replaced, the windshield washer fluid pump, which has a hole in it and therefore will not wash the windshield. There's the failed coolant temperature sensor. It needs a clutch, it needs brake pads and rotors. The cooling fan isn't working and the oil pan is leaking and needs to be replaced. Now the total flaw for all these repairs, $8,703.66. And that's why today is this M5's final day with its original owner, after they've spent more than 12 years together. That's right, he's selling it to CarMax. Now CarMax won't sell this type of car, they're probably going to wholesale it right away. So that means it'll probably end up at a used car dealer near you. And when you see it there, think about the sublime handling and the excellent build quality. But before you buy it, make sure to get a mechanical inspection. 